फोर मंथ्स नो डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट योर सिचुएशन इज राइट नो ओके सो आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट इन द लास्ट टू थ्री मंथ्स यू हैव स्टडीड समथिंग आई एम टेकिंग योर एग्जाम्पल हाउ मेनी सब्जेक्ट्स हैव यू फिनिश How many subjects have you completed? You have completed all subjects. I'll say twelve subjects for. Twelve uh, subjects. Yeah, I in one month I revised uh, one subject uh, for per day one subject. Uh, you have completed like once you have gone through every subject. Yes. Okay. So that is a good stage. That is what I explained two months back. That this is the stage you should be in October. Okay. So we'll start with October. See what I'm doing right now is long term planning and see very closely how I do it. This is how you have to make your plan. She's from IIT, I'm from mechanical. It does not matter. I know how what you need to do to crack gate examination and this is how you make a plan. All right. So October, November, December, January and then you know what is there. Okay? Gate examination. Now the first thing I'll do is take a buffer. I cannot go beyond this because plans always fail. All right. So if my plan fails, I'll get into this. But you cannot make your plan including this. Okay. Now she's saying that 12 subjects she has completed. Now my second thing, I will like to start my full length test series by this. Okay, by December, and I'll increase the frequency gradually. I'll say that okay, I'll give only 12 full length test series, but initially I'll be giving once every week. then i'll do like once after every 2 3 days why is that because initially you are at a lower level you'll have more weaknesses then you'll get more time to work on those more weaknesses and gradually those weaknesses will decrease and then more will be relying on your practice you need more practice okay so then at the later phases i'll decrease the gap between two test series okay so i'll i'll start full length test series Okay now she is in a very good spot she has completed 12 subjects and she has 2 months to revise those subjects as many times as she can okay now i'll start with the major subjects any branch of engineering or even sciences will have five major subjects is it correct civil engineers electrical engineers it okay now i'll start with this because i know that a huge percentage of question is going to come from this what is the benefit of focusing on the subjects which from which more questions are coming See in examination no if you are able to solve more questions properly then you will be having more confidence to solve the other questions which are rare okay or the subjects which people do not focus now here's the thing you will you can divide the subjects into two part the more frequently asked subjects and the subjects from which less question comes you can say it like pareto 80 20 rule also okay can you anyways we'll say that 40% of the question are from minor subjects ic engine rac and subjects like this there will be minor subjects for you also okay now from those subjects no the good thing is that they will not get into much depth you'll see less previous year question but the good thing is that they will not get into much conceptual depth because you'll figure out you see it with a full attention or you'll find out that these subjects are application based subjects okay and gate focuses more on basics they last little bit questions like rac is application ic engine is application power plant is application right but thermodynamics is basic that is what we study in first two or three years stand the material is basic so from this they'll get into depth and i want you to make these subjects strong because not only they'll get in depth they'll ask more questions from this you can expect like 10 to 15 marks from stand the material obviously mechanical engineers right i want you to focus on these subjects so these are coming in five subjects i'm taking the example of mechanical engineering you take the example of it stand the material thermodynamics fluid mechanics heat transfer production and theory of machine also these five six subjects are major these are the ones i'm going to focus first so i'll put these five subjects over here and other seven subjects i'll put over here good because i need more time for these small subjects these are not these are less but these are not small this will take good amount of time okay the major subjects you do the analysis you know the analysis of it okay so that is how i'll divide this is what i am planning okay now five subjects come more in a micro level four weeks right i'm having four weeks no now properly i'll see obviously all the subjects will not take equal amount of time sub subjects you are strong at heat transfer everybody will say is easier than strength of material mechanical engineers right so you will not need one week for strength of material and also one week for heat transfer no you will need somewhere like 3 days for heat transfer and one week for strength of material maybe 6 days for fluid mechanics like that it will go 
So you do a proper planning of how you will be giving subject wise test series. You have completed all the subject, now all the subjects, 12 subjects you have completed. Mm -hmm. Now the revision will be going according to your test series, mm -hmm. subject wise test series. So let us say I'm having 30 days, 1, 2, 3, up to 30. Okay. Now what I'll be doing, this is my calendar. Okay. 1st October, 2nd October, 3rd October, like that. Now I'll be planning properly, okay, the biggest subject I'll pick, it will take somewhere around 7 days for me to complete, okay. So this is day 1 and this is day 7. Let's make this as day 7. Now I'll be starting the revision of subject number 1 and I'll be giving one full, uh, sorry, one subject wise test series of subject number 1 on the 7th day because I'll need 7 days to revise. The seventh day I give the test series, I'll analyze the test series, okay, and I'll find my weaknesses. I'll find like uh, out of that subject, let's say there are 10 chapters, out of that 8 chapters I'm strong in, 2 chapters I'm weak in, and that's where I'm losing the marks. People who have not watched my video on test series analysis, please watch that, I've explained it properly over there, okay. Basically, you find the weakness, you'll find two chapters which are weak, you go back to your class notes, go back to the previous year question, solve the star mark question again, and that's a, that chapter will be stronger now. What I want you to do is parallelly, again, this, is not be, this will not be done in one day. I want you to take ample amount of time, like one or two hours every day you give for the next five days. Because my next test of subject number two will be after five days. Because the next subject is a little bit easier. Okay, it will take five days for me to revise. Okay. Now what I have done is I am parallelly revising subject number 1's weaknesses okay? and simultaneously what I am doing is studying subject number 2. Everything is clear? This is the method of parallel revision. I have made a video on this. Okay? So this way what you have to do is go up to subject number 5 and make proper plan that all the 5 subjects will be over by October. This is how you plan. You think that four months is not sufficient? It is more than sufficient. I've eliminated one month and then I'm making the plan. Okay, so you have more than sufficient time. You are having the comfort of a buffer zone that even if plans does not work, you fall sick for one week, you can still manage. Okay, so everything is clear. This is how you plan. Now, similarly, you can plan the next seven subjects. These will be small subjects. RAC, how many days will you take? Two days maximum. RAC, power plant. What will you do? Go through the previous year questions. Little bit of your class notes. Go to the underlined part. ES, engineering services, previous year questions, star mark question. If you have already studied, like the situation she is in, the 12 subjects are over. All the previous year questions are over? Yes, sir. So that is over. Okay, just go to the star mark questions and then that is what you do for one week and then give the test series, subject wise test series. By, this, uh, by November, all the subject wise test series is over. Not one. Two subject wise test series for every subject is over. After that you start start full length test series. Okay? It is okay. Sometimes this October will get in a little bit into November. This will get a little bit into December, like first week of December, it is okay. Make a proper plan according to that. Now you know the big picture. Now you'll get the confidence that okay, I can crack this examination. We have the resources, we have the time, we can crack this examination. Then get into the micro level. I'll get into no October. And that's where this plan begins. And now into more micro level, I will think what I'm going to do today. Because today is Saturday. Next Saturday, I have to give the test of subject number one. So you know what you need to do, then the motivation comes, then the consistency comes. Okay? Okay. So, uh, what is this revision? Uh, like, how to do revision? Yes, very good question, Mehta. Mehta is not going to appear for gate examination, <laughs> but still. Because, uh, you're saying that form load, form lays, or uh, again writing those form lays, like how to No, no. See, formula we'll write only once. We'll, okay, that micro level revision, no? Micro notes, you know what it is. Everybody knows micro notes. Formula for every subject, it should be done in 12, 13 pages. Okay, that you should be revising almost daily basis. Or if not possible. Sorry. It is necessary to write uh, micro notes. Very necessary. It is very, very necessary. You ask anyone, all of us had micro notes. If you have not made it yet, you please make it right now. Because one day before the examination, you will be panicking like hell. I do not want that situation for you. You should be having all the notes. If it does nothing, it will give you that mental strength that, okay, these are the formulas. I know it. Okay. So you please make those formula notes. It is very important. I know that few or few more will be there. It was not made micro notes because it is very common. One of my seniors, he cracked gate with all India rank 120 or something. No, he found out that we need to make micro notes in December. And then he started doing it. 
and still he cracked gate examination with a pretty good rank now it is not late but please make it it is very necessary okay wait i will answer his question first okay so micro notes if you are asking how will we retain the formulas that has to be done on daily basis or alternate days you should be done with 12 subjects all the formulas on a daily basis cycle okay half an hour to one hour it will take it should not take like two hours because you will not have the patience to go through formulas for two hours you'll get bored split it half you'll do in the morning half an hour or one hour half you'll do in the evening that's what you can do that's what you do with the formulas next how you need to revise what you are going to do for the next seven days let us say then you'll be going through your class notes underlined part for the second or third revision only after that you will become pro okay later you will be able to during full length essays you do not need to go through class notes but now you need to do that underline part you go through it previous year questions only star mark previous year questions for mechanical engineers gate previous year questions and plus engineering services previous year questions if you have done uh, isro previous year questions then you can do that too for example repeaters and all you must have done isro previous year questions then you go to the star mark questions for isro previous year questions also and this is how you do the revision this is how you revise the subject hi yeah no problem man there's a seat for you special seat you want to sit here you can sit here also <laughs> you can sit there see mai ta camera dekh lena problem hoga no chalo theek hmm okay everything is clear whose question was it wait i'll come to you whose question was it your question no four months you have any more questions please ask okay good prepare your next question you can make it